you ever use the future as escapism because I used to do that and it was really overwhelming. I used to think, I used to think that we were forever, ever. I used to have this big vision. I mean, I still have this big vision, but the way that I've look at it now is completely different. So I used to have a big vision for my life and I don't even know, I'll go, okay, I wanna be here, cool. I'm gonna get up at 5 a.m. I'm gonna work out every day. I'm gonna have abs. Hun, I don't even want abs. Like these are not things that I realistically wanted to do, but I was pinning all of it on, I must do all of the things right now or I will be a big fat failure. So what happened was I managed to do that for a good three days, three days. And then I couldn't keep up with it because it wasn't sustainable for me and it wasn't something that I wanted to keep up with. So what the fuck do you do then? So after that, I had to reevaluate how I look at my goals and how I work towards them because it's not sustainable to do everything all at once. You can't habit build by building all 25 habits at the same time. You have to do it in steps, in blocks. They say to build up one strong habit at a time before you move on to the next one. Otherwise, what you do is you stop pilot. It's too much. <laughs> it's too heavy and then you give up because it's not sustainable for you so i'm adopting eric thomas's quote small steps great distances because we you and me we are running the marathon we are in it for the long haul to the big vision and you break it down into small actionable chunks that you can do every single day or a few times a week whenever you want it's your life you do what you want you know but you break it down so you can make moves towards your goals and your dreams without having the stress of i must do it now or i will die because that was me and that is not a healthy way of thinking but side note i realized that I was using the future as escapism from my present. So for quite a few years and throughout my teenage life and being in my twenties, I just wanted to escape my current situation because it wasn't good. I was not in a healthy place. I was not around good people. So I just wanted to leave and escape and I, there was no physical way for me to do that. So I thought, okay, I'll just become really successful. And then when I'm rich, I can leave. And I put too much pressure on myself to do that so then i didn't do any of the things because it was too much it was too much so what i recommend doing now if you've not got a life vision that's okay but you go inwards do some breathing maybe there's there's definitely some vision meditations out there if you're a meditation babe but you just have a think about what you actually want out of life for me i want to be an artist i want to create content i do i i said it I get really embarrassed about my dreams as well. I don't know why, I just don't like speaking about it. I break it down and I go, okay, so if I want to be an artist that works in musical theatre, what do I need? I need a strong CV. How do you get a strong CV? You get a strong CV by adding credits. How do I add credits? I need to get into productions and to do that, I need to have a strong repertoire of songs in my folder. I need good headshots, you know? So then I will break that down even more and go, okay, so this week I'm gonna record two songs or I'm gonna work on one song for three weeks until it's really good and I can record it and have that in my video library. Break it down into very small bits that you can handle and that you can nurture and take care of. And then those building blocks will compile and then boom, one day you'll wake up and go, oh shoot, I am so much further along than I ever thought I would be. That is my top tip of the day. And that is why uh, you should break down your goals. And that is also why you shouldn't use the future as escapism. Or if you do, then now you have the tools to real break it down into something that you can do. So, there you go. So I'm doing my first brand deal ever. She's like a little influencer or whatever. That was exciting because dip my toe out. <laughs> I'm excited for it, can you tell? Um, but it's for a new app. 
um, so I sent off my videos last night for review and they said that they're gonna send it to the client and they're gonna let me know what they think and get some uh, review and some feedback so that's good I sent off a self tape yesterday for a pantomime um, we'll see what that comes to I'm a bit unsure about this because I would have to go to Manchester and that is really, really far away and that was just for an audition. Um, Manchester is not super easy for me to get to. That's been the video for today. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe because we're nearly at 50 subscribers and you're like, Helena, that's not a lot of subscribers, but it is to me. Thank you so much for watching, genuinely. Thank you for listening to my visiony rambles and more to come on artist life and potential entrepreneurialism subscribe for more and let me know what you want to hear more of in the comments have a good day stay blessed bye i found a video and i deleted it because it was so cringe but i found a video of there was no context it was a four second video and it was just me going i need to document things because i am a documenter yeah, that's being serious. What the hell? <laughs> anyway.